hey you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Mink and this is Mink's Kinks and y'all we're getting into some more new new it's not really new but like it's new to me so it's new <laughs> so today y'all we are getting into the Mayo pomegranate and honey twisting souffle this is what the product looks like so if you are interested to see how this product works on my hair then stay tuned so y'all, I am working through my stash, okay? Okay, cause I'm proud, okay? Um, and I decided to go ahead and pull out this twisting souffle just because I just wanted to try something with my hair. Um, I don't really have too many high hopes because if you're not new around here, then I, um, I'm a gel girl. <laughs> I'm a gel girl. Um, there's not too many creams and twisting puddings and souffles and all of that that tends to work on my hair and hold my hair and do what it needs to do my hair has a million different textures um so but we'll see um i am not pur repurchasing any new products from my yell but this is one of the ones i had in my stash if you're interested to hear my thoughts about the whole my yell situation it will be linked up above but um let me tell you guys what i used to wash my hair today i went in with the sleek and shine shampoo um i also did a conditioner call i'm not sure if that'll be up if it's not i'll just link the playlist and then i went in and used up some of my deep conditioners that um it had just a little bit left so I got three-fourths of the way around my hair and then just use something else um, just to get through wash day and then for my leave-in today I went in with the Shea Moisture Coconut um, Spray Leave-In just because I wanted something light I do think that this will be a moisturizing product so I don't want this video to be too long so we're just gonna go ahead read what the products supposed to do all of that all of that apply I'll finish off camera and then we'll come back to see what my final results are so it says that this is an intense moisturizing souffle for those with thick curly hair wanting to achieve the perfect twist out or braid out which is perfect because I do have thick curly hair I know that this line was made for type 4 hair so um, I'm excited to give it a try I don't necessarily believe that certain products work for certain hair types but you know <laughs> We'll get into that later. It says our twisting souffle conditions and protects each and every strand while adding moisture and natural shine. The pomegranate and honey ingredients are combined with essential oils as the perfect combination for your curls and will give you the ultimate definition. Love that. We love moisture. We love definition, but I heard absolutely nothing about holds. All right, y'all. And as for the directions, it simply says section hair and apply the twisting souffle for intense hydration. Great for twist outs and braid outs. It may be used on damp or dry hair. Okay, cool. Um, Simple and straight to the point. I love the packaging from this collection. The only other thing I have from this line is the leave-in conditioner, which I also haven't tried there'll be a video on that eventually if you guys want to see it sooner rather than later go ahead and comment it down below and i'll add it to the list because y'all have been suggesting things for me to try and i i have some on you know my little bracket um you know like, to get it popping so yeah y'all this is what the product looks like it is just a cream as you guys see but it is a very thick type of cream so y'all see that like it's a it's a pretty thick cream so i could see how this potentially could have hold because it's thick but also how it couldn't because all i'm hearing in the directions is that it's moisturizing is that it's going to hydrate your hair it's going to do you know all of these things and um one of the things that i need um that i require in my creams is that it has some some level of hold so this is what my hair is looking like just with that spray leave-in in and then I sewed it in with an oil of course. So we're not going, we're not going, you know, go too hard, talk too much about that because I do like the spray leave-in. I've talked about it multiple times in multiple videos. So um if you're interested, I highly recommend. Um, but yeah, I section my hair. So there's these two twists at the back and I'm just going to section each in half. 
So I just took a nice little half of this section and that's just my hair just with the leave-in like I said. And I'm going to spray my hair down with a bit of water because like I said this product's pretty thick so I just want to make sure that it's going to be able to glide through. And today I do want to detangle so I pulled out my tangle teaser because um... I don't know I just feel like I've been having more shedding than usual and I don't know if my hair is just trapped in there or what and I did have a protective style this past week so I just want to make sure that everything is up and out of there but I'm just going to go ahead and just take some of the twister souffle um I'm not sure how much to take but I'm a, I don't know child. so I'm gonna start off with about this much it's definitely thick when you rub it in your hands you can feel you know it in there oh this smells so good if you smell the pomegranate and honey line it smells just like that it smells so just like sweet and tropical and all of that hmm. so you can feel the moisture going on um, and I almost feel like my hair is weighed down a bit is that me I'm gonna get a little bit more um, just to put up at my roots but it's definitely a very very thick cream hmm. so this is what my hair looks like just with the cream and I'm just gonna go ahead and braid it up and see what happens y'all so let me know are you guys still shopping with my yo um are you using up your products from them what's your favorite product like i I love these type of conversations um the last review that i did the last product i tried with myo was the mongongo protein free deep conditioner and i did like that it's not a favorite i wouldn't say even after all of the controversy like it still wouldn't have been a favorite for me but um it was a it was a pretty good mess you know and it, they have five dollar sales pretty frequently so if you're still shopping with them i do recommend that one that's a pretty good mask but yeah y'all um i'm just gonna go ahead to tangle halfway like you guys just saw and y'all have seen me done a million braid outs so i am just going to fast forward this part and then i'll be back in a day or two or three um whenever my hair is dry and we'll just see what this braid out is trying to talk about okay you guys so i am back and these are what my results look like First things first y'all, I want to apologize for my low energy. Today has been a rough day and your girl is just ready to exhale. But I wanted to make sure that I came back and showed you guys what my hair is looking like. I took my braids out this morning. So these are the day one results. So let me go ahead and show you guys how much I used. So you guys, I used about this much, um, not much at all, still so many uses. Um, so my results, y'all, I do like my results. What I will say is, is that I didn't pick my hair, I didn't fluff my hair or anything. I literally just took the braids out because your girl was running late for work. So I just needed to get a move on. Um, and for day one hair, I do think that my hair looks pretty good. There's a nice shine. I have pretty good definition. But there is a lot of frizz. And I feel like my ends are a little bushy. And um, like right now, when you look at them, they don't look too bad. But I can feel on the inside just, you know, a little more bushier than I would prefer. Especially on day one hair. So I don't necessarily dislike the product. It's just not my favorite product y'all know if you've been following me for a while creams just don't always do what they need to do for me um i, I need hold like my hair needs hold so i think i'll get a good two three days out of this um before i need to do something else but i don't know like i'm not overly thrilled about it so let me tell you guys about application um i did a braid out <laughs> um and 
um application was pretty easy it took very very little as you guys see to get my hair coated and everything but i knew off jump that like my hair wasn't going to have a whole lot of hold so um I don't know it feels very moisturized though um I did use a spray leave-in so my hair is super moisturized from this from this um twist and souffle so do I dislike the product no not at all um does the product say what it does it says that it's intense moisturizing souffle I do think that it's it's pretty moisturizing and it says that it conditions and protects every strand while adding moisture and adding natural shine my hair is shiny my hair does have definition as well as some frizz um and it doesn't say anything about hold it just says that it's going to give you the ultimate definition and i do think that my hair is super defined but that's also because i did a set style like a braid out and um I don't know like I don't dislike it I just don't really love it I'm hoping that I'll just be able to get through the work week is it something that I would personally repurchase even if I was shopping with my L no but you know it was an okay product it's good to try you're definitely getting a bang for your buck because I used literally so little y'all like it literally looks like it's still full so i'll have this for a good while i think that this is a product that'll work best in the cooler months because especially as the temperatures start to warm up and everything like it's just not going to hold for me through humidity and rain and mugginess and all of that so yeah y'all those are my final thoughts on it let me know down below if you've tried this product down below and i will see you guys in my next video bye